Hi, this is question 8 from the AQA Mechanics 2 January 2013 exam paper. We have an elastic string that has natural length L and modulus of elasticity lambda. The string is stretched from length L to length L plus E. We need to show by integration that the work done in stretching the string is lambda times E squared over 2L. OK, so to get us started on this, um, we are going to write down Hooke's Law. And Hooke's Law is T is equal to lambda times x, which is the extension, over L, which is the natural length. Now, because we have a variable force, we can say the work done is equal to and we would integrate the force with respect to x um, in this case we're going to integrate the tension with respect to x so I'm going to integrate uh, the tension and that's equal to lambda x over L and we're going to do that with respect to x now we've got limits here because our stretch is going to go from 0 to an extension that we've called E. OK, integrating this then, I can say my work done is going to be equal to, and if I integrate this with respect to x, that's going to become x squared over 2. So we're going to have lambda times x squared over 2L. E0. And that would then tell us that if I, if I substitute my E into here and then take away substituting my 0 into here, well, the zero into here is just going to give me zero. So I'm going to be left with lambda, and that's going to be e squared over 2L. And that's what we're looking for. OK, part B. We're told we've got a particle of mass 5 kilograms that's attached to one end of a light elastic string. The other end of the string is attached to a fixed point O. The string has a natural length of 1.6 meters and the modulus of elasticity is 392 newtons. We need to find the extension of the string when the particle hangs in equilibrium. So we've got our fixed point O up here and we've got our string that hangs down and that's supposed to be a vertical line and we've got a, a mass of 5 kilograms that's attached to this. OK, we have a natural length of 1.6 metres. and our string will have had some sort of extension that we're going to call x and this is what we're trying to find out. We also are going to have a force that's going to be acting in this direction here that we're going to call our tension and that's going to be the tension in the string. We're also going to have a force acting downwards here which is going to be the weight of our mass which we can call 5g. Right, so going back over here, um, we're trying to find the extension of the string when the particle hangs in equilibrium. Now because it's in equilibrium, that means the tension must be equal to the weight, because those are the only two forces that are acting on this. So I can say my tension is going to be equal to my weight, and I'm going to use Hooke's law to work out what the extension is. 
So my tension is going to be equal to 5g. So I can start by saying 5g is equal to lambda, which is 392 newtons, so 392 times by x, with, which is the extension. We're trying to find that out over L, which is the natural length of 1.6 meters. Okay, I can now solve this for x, uh, multiplying by 1.6, that's going to be 8g is equal to 392x. So x is going to be equal to 300, sorry, 8g over 392, and x works out to be 0 0.2 meters. Okay. Now, part two, the particle is pulled down to a point A, which is 2.2 meters below point O. So it's going to be pulled down from its natural length of 1.6 meters to 2.2 meters. So over here, I'm just going to jot down that X is going to be equal to the extension is going to be equal to 0 0.6 meters. We need to calculate the elastic potential energy in the string. Well, our formula for the elastic potential energy, that's going to be the energy that's stored in the string um, when, when, when we've pulled it. And that's actually going to be equal to the work done. So the elastic potential energy is going to be equal to lambda, um, we'll call it x squared over 2L. Okay, so I know that my lambda is going to be equal to 392. That stays the same. x squared is how much we've pulled it down by, which we've decided that this is 0 0.6 meters, so we're going to times that by 0 0.6 squared, and we're going to divide that by 2 times its natural length. Its natural length was 1.6, so we're going to have 2 times 1.6. Okay, and working that out, it works out to be 44.1 joules. OK. Now we're going to move on to part 3. And I'll start part 3 over here. Right. The particle is released when it is at rest at point A. So this is when it's been extended down to 2.2 um, meters below O. It's then going to be released. We need to calculate the distance of the particle from point A when its, first um, when its speed first reaches 0 0.8 meters per second. Now I'm going to start off by calling this distance here that we're trying to find I'm going to call it the letter Y. We can call it anything we want, but I'm going to calculate this distance. We're going to call that distance Y. I'm now going to separate this into two things. We're going to have a look at um, when it's at rest. So we'll say at rest. So that's where it is initially. And then we're also going to have a look at when it's at 0 0.8 meters per second. So when it's at rest, our elastic potential energy is going to be equal to, and we've worked that out already, it's going to be 44.1 joules. Okay, so that's how much energy is stored in the spring initially, sorry, the string initially. Our kinetic energy, well it's at rest, so our kinetic energy is just going to be zero. If it's not moving, it's not got any kinetic energy. And our gravitational potential energy, 
well we're going to assume that this is the bottom so um, we're going to say point A is going to be our our reference point for, for zero um, so its um, gravitational potential energy is also going to be zero so the only energy that's going to be uh, present is going to be its elastic potential energy okay um, and then we're also going to have a look at um, when it's at 8 meters per second okay so when it's at 8 meters per second sorry 0 0.8 meters per second well that sounded a bit fast okay when it's at 0 0.8 meters per second we are going to have our elastic potential energy and um, that's not going to be equal to 44.1 joules anymore because some of that energy will, will have lost it's been we've let go of it so the string is going to have less energy stored in it um, and we need to know how much energy there is so we'll have to write down an expression for that well this is what my elastic potential energy um, is going to be lambda we know is 392 and x squared is going to be um, our, how much it's been extended <coughs> okay so how much the string has been extended from its natural length we know that the distance from a we've called it y and the extension is 0 0.6 so my um, extension is going to go down by y um, meters from 0 0.6 so that's going to be 0 0.6 take away y okay so just to clarify that if my distance from a was 0 0.1 meters well then my um, my extension would now be 0 0.5 if my distance from a was 0 0.2 then my extension would be 0 0.4 so we're taking away y from 0 0.6 okay um, we want to square that and we're going to divide that by 2L and that's 2 times its natural length which is going to be 3.2 okay so this here is an expression for our elastic potential energy okay we also need to write down what we've got for our um, kinetic energy well our kinetic energy is going to be equal to half mv squared um, so that's going to be equal to a half times by our mass and our mass is 5 kilograms so we're going to have a half times by 5 times by the velocity squared which is 0 0.8 meters per second so it's going to be 0 0.8 squared okay and our kinetic energy works out to be 1.6 okay so that's our kinetic energy and we're also going to have our uh, gravitational potential energy okay that there is going to be mgh and it's going to be our mass times by gravity so that's 5 times by 9.8 times by h and that's how um, high we are f from a um, so that's going to be y um, and that simplifies to 49y okay so this is what our total energy was before and now this is what our total energy is now and we know that our energy is conserved so um, none of the energy is going to we're going to assume none of the energy has been lost 
so that means I can now write down that the total energy before which is 44.1 is going to be equal to the total energy afterwards which is going to be all of this okay and if I simplify this so I can multiply everything by 3.2 and then I can go on and simplify this I'm going to just write down what the equation is we should get 245 y squared take away 196 y plus 3.2 equals 0 now I can put all of this into my quadratic formula and I'm not actually going to do that part for you um, what I am going to say to you is that our um, values of y well we're going to have 2 we're going to say y is going to be equal to 0 0.0, .0 one six six seven four and we're also going to have another solution where y is equal to zero point seven eight three three okay we've been asked to find when its speed first reaches 0 0.8 meters per second so that means our answer is going to be this one here our speed first reaches 0 0.8 meters per second um, when the uh, particle is 0 0.016674 meters um, from a okay I've skipped a, f a, a few steps over here um, hopefully you were able to work this part out for yourself um, and I've, hopefully everything everything's been clear okay thanks very much for joining me I look forward to seeing you again soon take care